everyone and welcome to my new doll repaint video well guys today we're going to continue working on my halloween special dolls this year i've made already three special dolls for the halloween season and you know even though all these three dolls were definitely halloween characters kind of on the spooky side but also all of them were really beautiful. I've made already the Golden Siren from Jibaru, I've made Mary Sanderson from Hocus Pocus, and I've made Emily from Corpse Bride. So you know, all these three ladies are still very, very, very beautiful, even though each and every of them is a Halloween character. So, and today I want to make vice versa something absolutely terrifying. I want to make a really scary, monster looking character something completely different not a beautiful but a little bit spooky lady but a real monster and I've decided to make the other mother from Coraline or the Beldum this is like the second name the real name of this creature who pretended to be Coraline's mother I've made already a Coraline doll a couple of years ago, two, three years ago, and actually I'm still enjoying the memory about making her yellow rubber boots. It was a very cute doll. So, and of course, the other mother was in my list also for a very long time because she's absolutely epic. She or it, I don't know what kind of gender is this, the Beldum. So let's make it. It's gonna be very interesting because there are lots of body modifications. Because this Beldum uh, is a mix of a spider and a skeleton. And also a couple of weeks ago, YouTube suggested me a video where a costume designer of the Coraline movie, her name is Deb Cook, was explaining how she created this character, the other mother. Actually, she created like the whole transformation from the real Coraline's mother to this monster. It ended up being in the very end. It was really super interesting video. For example, I've learned that this sweater, this pullover of the original, of the real Coraline's mother, was made out of a kid's sock. So actually we use all kind of the same methods and I was also kind of really jealous uh, watching this video because working on this kind of project, on this kind of a movie, creating costumes, creating characters for, for Coraline or for other kind of movie like this would be really a dream job for me. So, like a studio, contact me. <laughs> no, I'm joking, of course, but on the YouTube channel of the Leica Studio itself, they have lots of videos showing the backstage of creating the Coraline film, how this animation was made, how the characters were created. It's really exciting. So guys, today it's my turn to create my version of the other mother of the Beldum out of a monster high doll and this is a very exciting project, I think. Of course, guys, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos and of course support my art here on YouTube with your likes if you think that I deserve it. So, and now let's start working. So, this is the doll that I've chosen for this transformation. I don't know, because she has this slightly irregular face and I feel like this is exactly what I need for this project. So, let's quickly prepare her for a makeover, remove everything and then we'll start modifying her.
First of all, I want to cover up this neck hole and then I will make a new one more on the back of her head because this is how the other mother's head is. She is seriously bent forward. Yeah, I think something like this will be good. So now I want to make the eye sockets a little bit bigger to be able to attach the button eyes. Good, now let's put this head aside and let this glue dry for a day. And meanwhile I can modify her body. The beldam looks like a mix of a spider and a skeleton, so there is a lot to be changed and transformed. But let's start with dismembering her body. So now these body parts on the right I will need and the body parts on the left I will keep for another wild project in the future. And right now I am going to work with the rest and I will probably start with modifying her neck. I want it to be longer and more bent forward like I told it already. And I will use different types of warbler thermoplastic for these body modifications today. Sometimes I will need more sticky warbler, sometimes I will need a rather harder warbler for it. So the neck looks good and now I want to make her chest look like a skeleton chest. The other mother has some bones sticking from the top of her outfit and I want to make something similar.
The back of the other mother looks like a round spider's back and I will make it also out of warbler. check it out I think it looks already super cool I'm really excited about this project so now let's make the big collar and then the front part of the outfit Now I'm going to decorate the back with a bunch of spikes. And this is it guys, check it out. I will set it a bunch of rings to her neck to make it look kind of more bony, more like a spine. And now I think I can put the top of the body aside for a moment and I will work on the bottom part of it now. And I will start actually with attaching this doll's body to a doll stand. It will make the entire construction much more stable. And then later I will cover this display holder with a skirt so nobody will even know that it's there except for the people who watch this video, of course. Beautiful. So now let's fill in the inside of this body and then I will make the four spiders leg out of barbecue sticks and warbler thermoplastic. So guys, our monster is looking better and better, really so cool. So now I want to make a tail on the back and then I will cover it with this sort of an upper skirt. I can finally connect the top and the bottom parts of her body together. I 
want to add more texture to her outfit and for this I will use this foam coat. It's absolutely perfect for this. While her beautiful body is drying, we can start working on her face. It's also a very interesting one. It looks like a cracked skull with button eyes. And I think I want to add another thing first to her head because you can see that she has like a hook at the end of her hair part. So I want to kind of elongate the back of her head. I will not make it too perfect, it will be all covered with hair anyway, but I just want to add this hook at the end of her head. Now let's paint her head white, spray it with Mr. Super Clear sealant and then I will start drawing. Okay, this is the face and I think she looks absolutely terrific, really love it. 
Now let's go back to her body and let's paint it all. And we're slowly getting there, guys. It keeps getting just better and better all the time. There are still just a couple of details left. Like, for example, Beldam supposed to have hands made out of sewing needles. So let's try to make something realistic looking out of this bunch of needles as well. Here are the scary hands, check it out, super, absolutely beautiful. So now let's make a skirt for her out of this fabric. This is it guys, the body is done, I don't know, it looks so cool. And yes, now we're almost done with this project, but I just need to make her hair. The other mother has black bob hair and I will make it out of black yarn.
So this is the finished hairstyle. This is how it looks. So now we can connect the hat with the body and then take a look at the end result pictures. Okay guys, this is officially the coolest doll I've ever made, really. And it's also the scariest doll I've ever made. I don't know, she looks so terrifying and so beautiful at the same time. I really love her. I really wanted to make something spooky this time and I think I've succeeded. She's absolutely stunning. She looks like a real monster. I also had a lot of fun working on her. It wasn't annoying or frustrating at all. Every step was pure fun and pure joy. I don't even know what I like the most this time. Like modifying her body was a really joyful process because I've never made these sorts of body modifications before and I really love trying new things and finding like solutions for my creative challenges. So, I really hope you enjoyed my spooky Halloween special doll transformation. Please, guys, let me know what you think about this one, because she's kind of different. I don't know, I'm curious to see what you're gonna say about it. And if you have any other monster ideas, please let them down in the comments. I will for sure read all your suggestions for my next scary dolls. So, and this doll you can now find on eBay for three days, like usually, and the link to it you can find in the description box under this video. So, and that was my doll transformation of the week. I really hope you've enjoyed it today. And if so, please, guys, don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos. And I will see you next week on Friday in my last Halloween special. Love you guys. Bye.